road to this one's us to drop yeah, out. Yeah, so we are here in Astoria, New York, yes. right? Where they are filming uh, Jamminger. It's like a Texas-based uh, production, right? But they're here because they wanted to help them come around do their action. And I think we were talking, I was talking to some of them earlier, and they said that it used to be a large Texas-based production, but for some reason, more New Yorkers kind of got more involved. So that's why they ended up flying out here yeah. <laughs> to work here. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. But yeah, so so guys, um, if you guys don't know what Ask the Dropouts is, it's our monthly show where we talk about just, you know, what we've been doing just to give you guys updates on what we did and what's happening and what's coming up, right? Yeah. So yeah, so here, like I said, we're here in Nassau, New York. Again, we're just going here and this is the background. As you can see, this is our, our, our like sister group, our, our, you know, our best film buddies, um, yeah. uh, like Kamarami Studios. Wait, hold on. Let me... Oh, fuzzy. See us now? Uh, see hopefully. Us we still... did Crafties for Cheap. Uh, there's one more episode coming up, but you guys, I'll make that like a surprise for you guys. But don't worry, Crafties for, uh, Crafties for Cheap will be coming back next year. Uh, we just have to film. Yeah. <laughs> like Let us know what season. you guys think of the show, since this is like the first season. Right. And um, now that it, all of the episodes are out, you guys right. can watch all of them. Right. If you guys have like, you know, obviously it's for, for other indie filmmakers. So like, you know, you guys like thinking about it. You know how, uh, like even even yeah, this, they like, got they have, Chipotle. Yeah, and like, yeah, like 18. like they're like eighteen people here, and obviously you know uh, they're shooting here for three days, and obviously like you know they're they need food, yeah. right? So and they ordered, were here at six a.m. Right. So like that's breakfast, lunch, and then maybe dinner. Maybe they, they can go for yeah, but at least breakfast and lunch, right? Yeah. So you know obviously crafts for cheap for those uh, of us in, in the film world and in the filmmaking that. We want to make it cheaper, you know, at least cut the cost in places where, you know, even though we cut the cost, but we don't cut the quality, yeah. right? Right? Um, cheap eats with good eats, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> cheap treats with, yeah, whatever. Cheap for, treats with good eats. Yeah, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> the tagline. We need to make a shirt. We need to make merch oh, for that. Would you guys do. want a shirt? Would you guys want a shirt? Merch for, for coffee. I for guess tea? I should make something, at least for our patrons on Patreon. That'd be kind of cool. Considering, like, we have mugs. Yeah. I'll, I'll, yeah. Ooh. I don't think about mm -hmm. that. But yeah, so basically, Crafty's for Cheap is there. Um, what else? Well, also, we kind of wanted to show, like, we've been a bit slow this year. No, actually, not really. I think we're still pretty good. It's just that it's been really hard uh, getting productions up and running this year. I think simply it's balancing, for like, the quality this time around. Yeah. Whereas, like, if you guys see in the past years, we're just kind of constantly pushing stuff out. But the quality is just not up to the standards that, that we would like. I think with anybody, the more you learn a craft, the more you realize you don't know much, right? Yeah. There's always something else uh, in filmmaking that we can add to make it better, whether it be like, you know, the technical aspect or the creative aspect. Like, I'm a shitty writer, so I'm trying to be a better writer, but also shit at, like, lighting things, but, you know, and understanding why I would use a particular focal length, and, you know, so stuff like that. But, but other than that, besides working and doing other things, dude, fucking, like, the weather this year has been nuts. Yeah, which is our other video that came out earlier yeah. this month. So, Mother so, Nature is it, right? also the Nerf Assassin. Like, right, so... You know, Backstory for yeah. Nerf Assassin. So, oh right, so next month, actually, yeah, starting next week, you guys will uh, see, see the first episode first of episode. Uh, of our Nerf Assassin web series that took a little bit longer than expected to do simply because we were juggling other productions that we were paid for. Plus weather, I think yeah. a lot of our patrons have seen like some of the behind the scenes. Cause a lot of would, duck poop. A lot of duck yeah, poop. Yeah, a lot of duck poop. Um, and also like just me yelling like. God damn it! Yeah. It's freaking raining. It's, it sucks. It's, We're wrapped for today, guys. Like wrapped. It was raining earlier. Today. Now it's like really sunny. And it was supposed to be straight overcast, and now the sun is out. It it makes you like I feel it so, gets like, you sick. I, honestly, yeah. like just it's the like, weather. Like when you're shooting, when one shot is overcast and then the next shot is like bright. It's like what what can you do? Right. Yeah. And, then, uh, and yeah. so so basically, hopefully you guys can really enjoy it. Like and uh, actually in light of things you know uh, that's why we do a lot of nerf gun stuff because like we want to practice it safely and stuff like that yeah. actually in other news yeah, I don't know if um, I've seen it. there's a lot of news going on right now i mean we usually don't talk about like current event news but there was an <laughs> accident on set on, like, recently yeah with alec baldwin yeah apparently like you know they had so, a live because like, firearm on well, set. And, and that's the thing too because like usually you would have blanks and yeah. even blanks would, would hurt somebody like in a point blank range but the fact alone that they had like live like a live round in this and apparently from the news uh, what it was saying was that people weren't very safe with it whoever like the, the armor or the coordinator was 
Uh, apparently, the guy who provided the, the guns for the props, his daughter was actually using the gun earlier that day at a, at a, at a range. So, you know yeah, what I mean? I mean and, like, no one's... It's crazy. But, but it's safety, too, you know. Yeah. For, for us to be filmmakers practicing, uh, you know, like, action scenes, obviously, like, gun action is a very... Yeah. <laughs> gun action is a very big part of, of like, you know, modern-day action films, right? So, us using Nerf guns is a way for us to be able to practice safely. So, we just want to say, you know, to other indie filmmakers out there, please, 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 please be safe. Like, when, when action is involved and there's props and there's weapons, you know, you can never be too uh, safe with, with, you know, handling them. So. Yeah. And actually, speaking of safety and action on films and whatnot, we are actually going to be releasing a new, like, I guess, project-specific yeah. tutorial series right. on ASDOFightScenes.com. And if you guys are interested, please check it out. I am still putting things together, but it sh hopefully should be available for you guys to check out now by the time that this video comes out. Yeah. It's, so, it, it's for, um, uh, you know, guys, if you guys remember, we, we did that Boston shoot, Broken, with uh, Amanda Cass and, and Angela Jordan. And, like, that's the way for, like, that's another tutorial for us to teach, like, uh, the more in-depth uh, look on how I personally do, um, you know, fight choreography and action filmmaking. Yeah, so it's a step-by-step. -step. Yeah. This is um, a situation. <laughs> yeah, this is a situation too where we're working with a talent that we've never worked with before. So it's really interesting this kind of like the thought press process that Joy goes through in terms of choreographing and just doing all of that. So right. Yeah, it's actually kind of a fun one. <laughs> yeah, so that's uh, it, it's really it's really really in-depth. I really go into the philosophy and, and like and the, a lots of the whys yeah. I, I do things uh, you know how why I do a certain cut or why I do a certain action and how you know how that like plays hand in hand with both choreography and uh, yeah. like how you place the camera how you direct it. we have a lot of stuff like through yeah. the end also if you guys are interested in becoming a patron on our patreon we have a new cup available for you guys it is our lucky kitty bow right. uh, Lunar New Year Cup. So hopefully if you guys sign up now, by the time it's Lunar New Year, you'll get a right. new mug in the mail. Actually, so. and that's the thing too. Like, um, I did get one question. I didn't really, you know, so, because like last last month we didn't really get the yeah. question. And I wanted to ask this too, because like I got this like earlier on, on, uh, on Instagram. It's like, how do you feel the difference now of old school Hong Kong action to the newer Hong Kong action? Is like, what do you mean by newer Hong Kong? I mean anything that is like, 20, like, you know, 20, 20, like, recent years. I mean, I don't know if there's any actual, like, I guess, Hong Kong, like, new action, I feel like. Oh, maybe. shit, you know, oh, maybe I haven't shown you. Remember, remember the kid from the Jet Li movies, his son? Yeah, yeah, plays, yeah. You know, he's growing up and he's, yeah, I know. he does some pretty dope. Oh, I yes. haven't seen, like, the films. I, I followed him on yeah. <laughs> Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> He, but he doesn't do anything on his Instagram. Yeah, he's a botanist. Yeah, he's a botanist, which is like awesome. Up. It's so cool. Right, but like he's really. I don't know. I feel like I haven't really seen. The last thing I read. Modern Hong Kong like action yeah. type of thing. You know what I mean? What do you guys like? Like what's yeah, your like, opinion? Like if, if you guys. Let's have ask seen, you guys this time. Yeah. Let, <laughs> like let us know whatever um, if you guys have seen like recent, recent, right? And there's some there's some good ones. You know, but what do you guys think about like uh, the new school or, or just modern day martial arts fight scenes? I, I just, me personally, I just feel like it's it's a lot slower now, simply because maybe it's not like part of the culture anymore, and people have to like, oh, that shit's too fast, and so it's way slower, so people can see the movement. Because even in, in Hollywood, like the fight scenes are like super slow to me. Yeah. And it's like, and I know it too because you know, partly for safety, and I, I know, you know, we've been on productions where. They're more um, professional, like Western, like Hollywood stuff, it's, and they want the action to be. I think it's more of the acting rather than the action when it comes to. Like, yeah, you know and what I, I, mean? I have it's a just different. Like, yeah. Throw a punch, it's like those big reactions yeah. instead of like the constant like. Yeah. So that, and I think that's the thing too, like the different of difference of mindsets when it comes to like. What is your favorite fight scene, guys? Yeah. Like, Actually, I'm like, really curious, like. Busy right. So yeah. Anyways, if you guys checked out like uh, like two months ago, we actually had Matt here of Immortal Fox. If you guys noticed that we've been really part of like you know like the Toku uh, like scenes and whatnot. Kind of move. All 
Alright, cool. Sure. Hector, guys! It's uh, Hector! It's 360. It's like, oh, sure. you're always oh, okay. in our shot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. You're always in our shot. Nice yeah, shirt. Yeah, we're, we're in the shot now. Yeah. Oh, no, we're in the shot. Oh, yeah. So we gotta pull it back. No, All right.